محمد وآل محمد صلوات بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم One of the acts which are recommended in the month of Ramadan is to perform the ziyara of Imam Hussain alayhi salam It's recommended to do it in the beginning of Ramadan It's recommended in the middle of Ramadan And it's recommended at the end of Ramadan on the eve of Eid But one of the nights it's recommended is the night of Qadr Marhum Shaykh Abbas Qummi has narrated that there are tremendous reward promised for anyone who makes the ziyara. I will quote three traditions. Number one is a narration from the ninth holy Imam Muhammad At-Taqi alayhi salam. Man zara al-Husayn laylata thalatha wa ishreen min shahri Ramadan whosoever visits Imam alayhi salam on the eve of the 23rd وهي الليلة ترجى وهي الليلة التي يرجى أن تكون ليلة القدر This is the night where most probably it is going to be ليلة القدر Imam alayhi salam says صافحه روح أربعة وعشرين ألف نبي He shall be able to meet and to greet the souls of 24,000 prophets كلهم يستأذن الله all of them they seek permission from God in their station in Barzakh that they should be granted permission في زيارة الحسين في تلك الليلة question of all the acts on this night what is so special about this night and this particular act that 24,000 prophets should ask for permission one two Look at this riwayah number two, which says that this is uh, from the sixth holy Imam Ali Sadiq alayhi salam. إذا كان ليلة القدر نادى مناد من السماء السابعة من من بطنان العرش. When it is the twenty-third night. In the spiritual world, not in the first heaven, not in the second heaven, in the seventh heaven, the closest to the throne, the seat of the government by which Allah rules the universe, the highest level of knowledge and power of God. From there, the closest angel announces, Nada Munadin. What? On the 23rd night, in Allah, Qad Ghafara Liman Atta Qabr al Hussein alayhi salam. On this night, whosoever comes to the grave of Imam alayhi salam, his sins are forgiven. Two. Number three. Another tradition says that whosoever goes there to the grave of Imam, man kana inda qabr al Hussein, you are there, layla al Qadr, and you salli inda hu rakaatain, you pray the two raka'a, or ma tayassara lah, or whatever you can pray. Near his grave, was سأل الله الجنة واستعاذ به من النار أعطاه الله ما سأل. You go there, and in the proximity of that grave, you ask for whatever you want. The highest you can ask for is Jannah. The best you can ask for is protection and liberation from the final damnation of Jahannam. Your du'a will be granted. سؤال why? What is so special about Imam Hussain alayhi salam where so much is promised? Allow me to offer an answer. Perhaps this night is the night of Qadr, one. Night of Qadr means the night of destiny, two. Destiny means our future needs to be shaped by our own decision and by our own behavior and change in character, three. What is better? to ensure this change takes place then through the show of love for that man who gave up everything for the sake of the truth if I respond O oh, Imam 
وَإِن لَمْ يُجِبْكَ بَدَنِي I swear to you, my body could not say yes to you. Well, I'm here in the 20th and 21st century. How could I have said yes then? I swear to you, I heard that call for Nusra, for help and support to the cause of truth. But I could not answer then. فَقَدْ أَجَابَكَ قَلْبِي وَسَمْعِي وَبَصَرِي But today, my heart is saying yes to you. And... Yes, to anyone who is going to represent your cause. أين الطالب بدم المقتول بكربلاء? Where is that avenger of the blood of Imam Hussein? When he raises his call for Nusra, I'm ready. Well, how do I show you? How do I declare my readiness? This is the ziyara. The ziyara therefore plays a fundamental role in shaping our destiny personally, in individual, and as a community. And that's why, look at the riwayah. The riwayah says, whosoever goes therefore for the ziyara of Imam alayhi salam, من زار قبر الحسين في شهر رمضان وماك في الطريق I've made the niyyah, I want to go there. But circumstances prevented me, I died on the way. لم يعرض, لم يحاسب, قيل له ادخل الجنة آمنا. If I die, even before I reach there, just my niya. I haven't reached there, I haven't made my dua, I haven't made my salah, I haven't declared my faith in Imam Hussein as yet. On the way I die, Allah says there is no hisab. Allah says you go to Jannah. Kwa nini, kwa sadabu, my niya was there. Oh Allah, we're here. If we had the road open, we would have gone to Karbala. But we can't. We're expressing our loyalty and our love from here, from a distance. Ziyara Tawarif means, I, I, I testify. This is my adab. You are the waris of Adam and Nuh and Ibrahim and Musa and Isa and the last prophet. And all the Ahl Bayt, the holy prophet, Imam Ali and Khadija and Fatima. Salamullah alayhim ajma'een. I declare... I declare that you follow that path, that you are from that pure nur, and I declare, Ashhadu annaka qad aqamta salata wa aatayta zakata wa amarta bil ma'roofi wa nahayta anil munka. This is the bond between me and you. Salah, zakat, relationship to God. Salah, zakat, relationship to all the needy in the community. Amr bil ma'roof, my determination to make my utmost effort to ensure there's nothing but good in society. Nahi anil munkar, my utmost effort to make sure there's nothing, no evil remains in society. That's the best way to shape our destiny. And the best way to do it is to show our love for Imam alayhi salam. Let's make ziyara inshaAllah. اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد بسم الله